Hi, my name is Jason Schleifer. I'm a creative director at AWS, and today I'm going to be showing you how we use Amazon Nimble Studio to create animated content in the cloud. To do that, I'm going to show you some scenes and some work that we did on a short film called Pichu, which was created completely in the cloud with streaming workstations, rendering in the cloud, and shared storage. So to do that, what we do is we use Amazon Nimble Studio, which makes it really easy to set all of this stuff up for you automatically in your own AWS infrastructure. So to see what it looks like from the artist's perspective, let me go ahead and minimize the screen over here real quick. And one of the things that we really tried to do was make things easy for the artists so they didn't have to think about how do I mount any storage in the cloud, how do I launch a remote workstation or anything like that. They go to the simple interface, they choose the show that they want to work on, say, I'm going to go ahead and launch an instance, and then it will automatically launch everything that they, that they need. What that looks like once they've launched the instance, I'll just bring up a machine for you right here. And this is a Linux machine. So in this case, I'm going to be doing some animation in Blender using a Linux machine. And let me log in. And so what you can see here is I've got Blender up, and I've got my character Mayu, which I used uh, to, in order to do the animation. And so I can just go ahead and tumble around my view, like so. I can play the animation. And everything that you're seeing here is running off of a remote workstation, all running in the cloud. So all of the interaction, the files, rendering, everything like that is all running completely remote. At any point, I can select a piece of the character. Let me go ahead and just stop the animation from playing back. I can grab a part of the character uh, and then just go ahead and manipulate her like that. And I can create a new pose or do whatever it is I need to do as, as I'm animating. The nice thing about this is that in this case, I'm using Linux because that's what I'm comfortable working with and that's what we you know, set up uh, the character to use. But if I'm more comfortable with Windows, Nimble Studio can handle both situations. So over on this side, I've got a Windows um, user. So this is my, character, or my username, uh, Jawin, and he uses Windows machines. And so you can see over here, I've got one workstation that I can launch. And once I go into that one, let me open up that workstation over here. So this is a Windows box that I'm connected to, but it has access to all of the same data. So Nimble Studio makes it really easy for you to connect storage, uh, connect to storage either from a, Lind a Windows instance or a Linux instance, depending on what you want. And so I can simply open up another version of Blender right in here, and it's the exact same file with the exact same data. So again, I could just do whatever it is I'm most comfortable with. And one of the nice things about Windows as well is it has applications for things like doing texture painting. So for example, I can use uh, Substance Painter and then paint directly on the character Mayu, maybe add like freckles or something like that. Um, we're using Nice DCV for streaming and it has pressure sensitivity. So what you can see over here is we've got Mayu in Substance Painter and I just picked a uh, color, like a blue color here. We're gonna paint some really bright freckles on her face using a Wacom tablet. And I could just come in and just start drawing. And if I do a little bit of pressure, you only get a little bit of color on there. Or I can go really crazy and just like completely go nuts and paint all over her face like that. Tumble the view. Um, and then, of course, I would save this out. And it would be available for us to use when we're lighting our shots or doing any rendering. We do have other demos where we're showing rendering and um, actually rendering on the cloud. Uh, so definitely take a look at those demos if you're interested in how that's all set up. Now, in order to actually connect these workstations and make it easier for artists to work, let me show you what it looks like from the administrator's perspective. I'm just going to minimize both of these. And so we'll go over to our browser over here, and we're just inside our AWS account. We've got Nimble Studio set up, and within the Studio Manager, I can determine what type of resources I want to make available for artists. So I could choose storage, a compute farm, I can create Amazon machine images if I want to create very special software that only some artists get and other artists don't. Um, and I could choose things like Active Directory and even a bunch of custom configurations. configurations. So I'll show you an example of what it would look like to maybe I'm working on a movie uh, and I only want to give storage to that movie to some of my artists. What I would do is I'd come over to the file storage section, section right here, just click add and then I could uh, name the storage, let's call it like uh, Big Cat Movie something like that, I give it, give it a description. Um, I could choose Amazon FSX for Windows, Amazon FSX for Luster, which could be backed by S3, or if I have some custom storage that I've created, I wanna work with one of our partners like Cumulo or Weka, I can connect that way as well. I would just specify where I want that storage to be mounted for the artist, whether it's the on Windows, like a, an S drive or an F drive or whatever it is you want, or on Linux, I can specify the mount point. 
And then I basically just put in any other custom configurations I want and choose save connection parameters. We have full documentation on all this. We're not expecting you to be a cloud expert in order to use it. So you can just go look directly on the documentation right here. There we go. So we go to the documentation. Uh, and then you've got all sorts of tutorials about like how to maintain your studio, how to add storage, for example, how to F add an FSX for uh, Windows file system, and it takes you through everything. So again, you don't have to be an expert, you just follow the documentation right there. But let's say I go ahead and I want to, I've gotten some storage that I've added, and now I want to provide that to one of my artists. This is where we create what are called launch profiles, and that's what you can see over here on this screen, is I've got three different launch profiles for this artist, and one launch profile for this one. And those launch profiles define what storage, what render farm, uh, and what other components are going to be used. So if I want to take one of these launch profiles, for example, we'll take the epic one, and I'm just going to duplicate that, copy that to new, and we're going to call this uh, big cat movie. We'll give it a description and say this uh, movie is all about big cats. I can choose what machine images I want available. So in this case, let's say I'm only going to have Windows machines and just the default Windows machine right there. Um, I could say I want uh, just these few um, storage components and then any other types of components that you want. And then I just say, all right, great, let's go ahead and create the launch profile. Now what this is doing is this is building the launch profile for me. And if I look at my administrator's view, you can see there it is, big cat movie right there but it's not showing up for me yet in any of, my other, um, any of my other launch profiles or any of my other accounts. So to add it to another account, I just choose share, and then I can pick one of my artists. So in this case, I'll pick Jalin right here. So I type in their name, it filters down, choose them and just choose share and save those changes. And what you'll see is it shows up right away. So now this artist can basically come over here and say they want to launch into this workstation. They could choose what type of machine they've got or they want to use, either a G4 or G5 in this case. And they would just hit launch. It would bring up a session for them and they'd be able to start animating. Once I'm ready for them to be off the show and I don't want them to have access to those resources anymore, I just come back to that launch profile, go to share, see what users this is shared with, select them, remove it, save those changes, and then as I come back here, you can see it disappears and they no longer have access. So the idea behind this is that we just want to make it really easy for, for administrators to add artists when they need them, pull them off when they don't, and add whatever resources they need. And all of this is done through Amazon Nimble Studio, utilizing resources in your account, and uh, it sets it up for you very easily. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the demo.